This video introduces EMG or electromyography, which is the basis of muscle tension biofeedback. EMG is actually a kind of electrical voltage. It originates in the nerves that stimulate muscles to contract. The stronger the electrical stimulation, the stronger the muscle's contraction. So EMG is a correlate of muscle tension. The details of setting up the sensors are covered elsewhere, but an important point to remember is that we have to measure EMG as the difference between two points. More specifically, we're measuring tension in the muscles between and near to the two active sensors which are in contact with the skin. The raw EMG signal is actually rapidly oscillating, but since we're not really interested in the oscillations, the software turns this signal into a reading which simply goes higher when there's more muscle tension and lower when the muscles relax. EMG gives us a very useful window onto the mind because on the one hand muscle tension is directly and consciously controllable and on the other hand also subject to several indirect influences, some of which you may not even be aware of. Let's list some of these influences. Firstly, emotions. It's a common experience that when we feel anxious or stressed, we tend to tighten up, for example in the shoulders or in the jaw or in the many other muscles of the face. That's why we often use the word tension as synonymous with stress. Anger, frustration, agitation and restlessness all similarly go with tightness. By contrast, calmness, peace and serenity go with soft muscles. Thoughts also influence muscle tension, especially when they're emotionally coloured. For example, the thought of an upcoming dental appointment is likely to trigger tightening up, as though you're literally bracing yourself against the prospect. More directly, thoughts in the form of inner dialogue or inner self-talk can involve subliminal activity of the speech muscles, which can be picked up. How we pay attention also influences muscle tension. Imagine how your face looks and feels when you're straining to concentrate on something. Perhaps a problem or a tricky task like threading a needle. Compare that to how you'd feel, say, walking on a beach in relaxed, effortless and open awareness. All of these influences can be picked up in EMG biofeedback. Of course, what you measure depends on where you place the sensors. There are two placements commonly used which are both convenient and useful. The first is the wrists. In this placement, we can pick up the tension in the shoulders, arms and hands, and even in the chest and neck at least to some extent. The wrist placement is useful because for many people stress manifests particularly around the shoulders and upper chest. It's also good for differentiating particular styles of breathing, specifically abdominal or diaphragmatic breathing versus chest-based breathing. The second placement is the forehead. This picks up tension in the whole head, especially the face where there are lots of muscles. The forehead placement is more useful for detecting mental influences such as thinking and strained focus. In EMG biofeedback we're learning firstly how to fully release muscle tension, which is not necessarily easy especially if you're not particularly aware of muscle tightness. And secondly, we can practice maintaining a state of relaxation for a protracted period of time. How do we go about developing these skills? It starts with awareness. If you're not aware of something, then you don't have any conscious control or choice over it. You can work to build your awareness or sensitivity by paying attention to the feel of your muscles as you alternately tighten and then relax them. Work through different muscle groups. For example, if you're using the forehead placement, work through the following one by one. The jaw muscles. The brow. The muscles around the eyes. The cheeks. The lips. The tongue. The scalp. Really take in sensations in concrete detail. Do the muscles feel heavy or light? 
warm or cool, rough or smooth, constricted or loose. Notice it's easier to be aware of the transitions than static states. Notice also that it's easier for the conscious intent to tighten muscles up rather than release them. Relaxing is a letting go and not doing more than a doing. In fact, if you're overly willful about relaxing, you can have the opposite effect. Instead, trust that another part of the mind knows how to relax. Use your imagination. What would it feel like if the muscles became even more relaxed? Imagine the concrete sensory details, such as heaviness or lightness. The body responds to imagination as to an invitation, very differently from demanding of yourself that you have to relax. Allow your focus to be open and broad rather than narrow and constricted. There are two applications based on EMG, the basic application and the breathing application. The latter measures breath in addition to EMG, allowing you to focus in particular on muscle activity in the context of breathing. If you're new to EMG biofeedback, it's probably simpler to start with the basic application. The user guides are a reference resource covering EMG in greater detail than the training videos.